can imagine they sell the ships in the pledge store, um, but you can also buy them in game. Well, look what they did with Elite Dangerous, Baz. Look what they did with Elite Dangerous. They basically sold the game to um, Alpha people for £200. Yeah, so you could play Alpha before the beta. The beta was like £100. And what did they do? Basically ran the Alpha for like, was it four months, five months? And then went straight to beta. So everybody that shelled out an extra £100 hardly got anything. And they pledged that money at the start. Like before they'd even built it. They got, they got badly treated. The alpha backers got badly treated. And all they got was like a foreign badge. <laughs> so if, if Star Citizen goes down that road, they won't be popular. What I'm trying to say is like all this stuff that's exclusive, if you're like an early backer, if they suddenly make it available further down the line, people are going to be upset. Yeah, you get the DLC. Yeah. You get the DLC. Oh, but that wasn't yeah, the point. Yeah. Like, they were supposed to be in Alpha for a lot, lot longer than it was, and they just they, they made a decision to pull it into Beta quickly because they wanted people to test it. In other words, it didn't have enough Alpha backers to actually test it properly. But that didn't really consider the fact that these people had thrown £200 at this thing, and now all the Beta people were just coming in, you know? Rosmobile? Paul, I figured out a way to improve... Hang on. What is this guy doing? What are you... What? Why? Um, I figured out a way to improve the network sync problem in multiplayer and satisfactory. I'll post it on Discord. Okay. That sounds good. What's my take on the Alaskan truck game? If if we had a ladder of expectations with this wheel being the bottom of expectations and my ceiling being the absolute top of expectations, I would put my expectation level about there. Yeah, just slightly off camera though. That's my expectation level. But we'll see. The special edition ships which are simply not viable in the shop nor will be in game. That's what they say now, Baz. Did I miss the exit? I don't think I did. It was a little bit confusing, but I think I went the right way. Elite Raw, thank you for 22 months. Stuart, TUFC, happy anniversary. Keep up the good work. Thanks for 49 months, Stuart. The German Joker, thanks for 29. Will you be watching Avengers Endgame? I don't like superhero movies. They just bore me. Alaskan Truck Sim sounds like a game that is part of a franchise that must be re must create revenue instead of wanting the game that's actually good. Mr. D, thank you for 15 months. Happy Easter. Mr. Chu, how are you doing? Zany, blimey, zany smile. Happy Easter, banana to you. Four working days for the next two weeks. Yep, welcome to Easter. Next time, Pen. Uh, it's a Def 95, Mr. Chew. Oh boy. 
really should stop reading chat for a minute and actually pay attention to what I'm doing. No. Abort. The approach is all wrong. MK Dons, thank you for 30 months. You got Dead Mouse staying with you on the Friday, Mrs. Frosty. Noise. What, in the hotel? Or staying late at your place and then going to the hotel? This trailer reverses very oddly. Look at Jeff watching. I don't feel like that was glove, to be honest. I'm not happy with that. No glove. No, that's not. That wasn't glove. Nah. Hey, Snickerman. It was good. I don't think I've ever seen Birmingham that sunny. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a. Yeah, it's a mitten. We'd, we'll give it a mitten. It's not really a glove. Wyland gifted a sub to Zany. Welcome back, Zany. time is it in game almost 3 p.m we're gonna have to get some fuel as well so i think paul is gonna put this skin onto the steam workshop probably tomorrow because if you look at the writing there it says school logistics one way and then on the other side it's basically in reverse so he's got to fix that and it says nutty squirrel at the wheel whoa Uh, Chaos for Hire has gifted a sub to, to the Vin Toretto. Thank you, Chaos. Uh, will Promise 2.4 be compatible with a new ETS version or will it be a mess? Uh, the answer to that, Mr. Chu, is... All I can say is based on what I, I have seen so far. So... Pro Mods have said that they're releasing this at the end of April, which is basically this week. I've not seen SCS announce 135 coming out this week. So at the moment, it's looking like Pro Mods will come out before 135 comes out. In which case, it will work on 134 all the way up to the point where 135 comes out when it will break Pro Mods. So, that's what we currently, you know, guesstimations are. Uh, Carla just said it's out tomorrow. So, yeah. It'll probably work until 135 drops, whenever that is. And then it'll break until they fix it again. That's kind of how it always goes. Thoughts on ProMods Canada? Well, I'm happy to see ProMods are actually working on ATS. I think it's great. Concrete pipes, 22 tons. Two point four map. There you go. This is like one of the new bits that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago. They got a bunch of rebuild going on, like Northern Germany. That's reset, but hasn't apparently hasn't changed, even though it's reset. Welcome to the Nut House. Demonic Joker. Thank you for your support, Demonic. Welcome to the Nut House. Thank you. Promo to ATS content might maybe install ATS again. Well, looking at how much they're going to release, it's not a huge amount, Yankee Rave. Like, you can probably drive around it in, like, I don't know, two hours maybe? But obviously, that's just like a starting point, and from there they'll build it. 
Are the Pro Mod system requirements equal to the ETS ones or different? I'm not sure what you mean, Jens. Pro Mod's requirements are basically all the map DLC. Welcome back, Anata. So you having a coffee and weather spoons, I-64. Connor, you should've, you should've come over, bro. You really grew up with all the Team Zeal jerseys on. Nice. You should've popped over. Lots of people did that. They just like walked past and were like, hey, Squirrel. <laughs> That's literally like what I'm there to do is like, if I'm at an event, I'm quite happy to meet people. All right, Rosenbill, thank you. Oh, CPU requirements. Uh, probably the same. Anyone heard the news of truck skin tool being made to support ATS trucks? No idea. What are your expectations of Sardinia? I'm sure it'll be good quality. Does that annoy you when you're missing a single road on the map because my OCD freaks out? Um, I, I don't like being so wound up about things. I don't think it's worth it. So no, it doesn't bother me. North, North. I don't fancy going to North Poland. Take that one. It should be at Twitch London, July, November, Connor. I won't. I'll be at I-65. Um, probably end up at EGX. Wait, was the nearest fuel place? Oh, that's good. We need to pick up some fuel. Jaeger bombs. <laughs> you like Jaeger bombs, Baz? Uh, Plaggy Auto, how are you doing, sir? Do you recognize the sign, El Plaggy Auto? You can't see it, can you? You can't see that sign. Maybe if I do that, you'll see it. One behind me, though. Do you recognize that? <laughs> yeah, Flug, make the most of it. You're not fond of Jägermeister, but Red Bullet's okay. The thing is, Baz, like, proper Jägermeister tastes a lot better than the stuff that they normally sell you at the bar. How did I get it back, Mrs. Frosty? Somehow, I managed to fold it in my suitcase. No, I actually didn't cut it. What I had to do... I basically put it over the top of my suitcase, and it was it was longer than my suitcase, right? So I couldn't put it straight in there. So I worked out roughly what I needed to fold it so that the edges would be about as deep as the suitcase. And then because it's not actually cardboard, it's like a plasticized cardboard. It's really tough material. I then got I got the edge. I put it on the edge of the table in my room. Got um, what was it? I got the the folder with all the hotel stuff in it, put it on top, got my key, and scored down, like a line down it on both sides, and then basically bent it as best as I could, and then put it into the suitcase, and no word of a lie, I had to sit on top of my suitcase to close it, because it was full of Twitch merch and stuff I was bringing back. So it was a real tight squeeze. And then when I got it home, took it out, and uh, obviously the folds were pretty, like, you know, I had to try and unbend it to straighten it out. But So you can actually see, if you look at it closely, you can see the score lines in it. But that was the only way I could get it back. I was determined to bring it back, though. <laughs> I really was. Most people didn't. There wasn't many people who did bring it back. 
But for me, I was like, yeah, I'm bringing this back. This is coming with me. No, it wasn't freebies. I bought stuff. I spent like 150 euros in the merch store. Bought some hoodies and t-shirts. Speaking of t-shirts, the Yachts 5 stuff is still available. The Yachts 5 t-shirts and hoodies are still available, guys. When you leave your suitcase, it's always empty enough to lots of things in. Well, that's because you bring stuff over, right? Well, Red Devil, like, some of the Twitch stuff is hard to get. They only sell it at these, like, certain times. And they always have, like, new designs. And because I'm a partner, you get to go in on Friday and buy stuff before everybody else does. So, like, anything that you want is in stock because nobody else has bought it yet. And then you're a bit like a kid in a candy store going around going, yeah, I love that, I love that, I love that. You're going to have your Twitch name on it for Truckfest. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm going to get a feel on the way back because it was actually on the other side of the road. So it's a bit of a pain. pillows. All the partners bought all the pillows. You see, I don't buy the pillows because they are annoying to get back in a suitcase. They, they really take up space in a suitcase and I don't really have any use for them. Yeah, the TwitchCon Berlin, absolutely. Anything that says TwitchCon Berlin is only available there. And some people like, you know, collector type mentality. They collect all of the uh, TwitchCon stuff. These lights are being so annoying. Well, that's true, Vron. <laughs> Unfortunately, Berlin in a car is not really going to happen. Joe Hawksworth, thank you for subbing, Joe. Welcome to the net house. The miles on your truck of what? It says 1310Ks at the moment. You hope TwitchCon EU next year is actually in a city that I want to visit, Bez. Yeah, I do wonder where they'll put it. I kind of hope they move it around different countries each time. I think that would be a great thing to do. Uh, Chaos, happy Easter. Uh, Michelle UK, thank you for five months. I'm trying to think what trailer is going to look good with this truck. You're in for TwitchCon, Rome or Madrid. Um, yeah, Spain would be good as long as it's not Barcelona, because I've been there a couple of times, well, three times. So I'd like to go somewhere else like Madrid, like you say. Um, I doubt they'll go to Portugal. I think possibly France. They may go to, like, Paris or something. Um, maybe the UK? Maybe? You know, London's going to happen at some point. But whether it'll be next year, I don't know. I think they'll probably, maybe not next year, maybe the year after. Um, I don't know, Poland?
I mean, they could even go to Ireland, couldn't they? Ireland could be fun. Maybe Dublin. Well, yeah, exactly. They've got to. They've got to get like the whole Brexit thing sorted out first. But yeah, I don't want it to go back to like Germany again. I want it to go to like a different country each time. I mean, there's always considerations, isn't there, for, for an event. Like, they've got to find a venue that is the right size. Um, can, like, host enough people. Connections have got to be there. Flights and stuff. There's quite a few considerations. Yeah, Vienna. They could go to Italy. Amsterdam could be a decent choice, actually. I'd be fine with Amsterdam, even though I've been there a few times. Oh, this feels... Oh my god, this feels really heavy. Oh, it's come back. Have a good one. Twitch con at Peterborough. Nah. I can almost guarantee that won't happen. See, if they came to London, I don't know which would be the best venue, you know? Well, the Excel Center, um, the Excel Center is fine for the main, the main kind of con. But if you think about TwitchCon, they're almost always in places where they've got multiple floors, and they'll put like things on different floors. Like they'll have a partner area, they'll have a a shop, er like a shopping merch area, they'll have um, a presentation area, they'll have the main kind of. They tend to split it, and Excel doesn't really have that. I don't think the NEC would work either. I mean, it, they could make it work, but I don't think the NEC would be a good choice. The Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam. Don't know that. You have a big max, it's frosty. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Do you want fries? TwitchCon at the beach. Thousand hamburgers and a couple of veggies. Sure, no probs. Never seen roadworks like this on a service station. Wait. Um, okay. Awkward much. Yeah, you can have fries as well, Taipan. Oh. I've missed a turn for McDonald's. Oh well, I'll get it you next time. Where are we at the moment? Uh, the
<laughs> How could you miss that turn? I don't know. I can't really turn around. Stop the traffic and leg over the fence. I can't get out my truck. <laughs> I'm tied into the truck. Whoa, I hate that. That breaking bounce back thing. Nah, I, I can't cheat the truck. I don't do that. This is a narrow road. Flipping heck. Do you know, considering this truck only has what? Was it 320 horsepower or something? It's doing okay. Is it 329? It's not so bad. What's the uh, trailer? 21 tons of sugar. It's not the quickest thing. What do you mean, white the nose, Captain Flint? Whoa! That timing! Lufthansa. Baz's favourite airline. I don't know why then. I think it was Captain Flint who said something that you'd know. I have no idea. Oh, yes, it was your idea about suggesting the lowest engine. That was it. I wonder if he could do an entire journey like this. <laughs> Like driving backwards. Aye, aye, aye. Crazy Jack, thank you for 300 bits, sir. Thanks for the biddies. Not once have I said you should lose a lower horsepower engine. Uh, really? Do you know why that is, Whiteland? It's because. I knew you was going to suggest it, so I clicked it anyway, and then you didn't need to say it. All I had to do was click the big engine, and then you'd have gone, click the small engine. Chat, I've given directions while you reverse. Yeah, right. I wonder if anybody's, like, taken a job in your truck and then driven the trailer backwards all the way there to the uh sonami vampire thank you for your support welcome to the nut house we have a vampire in the nut house You saw me dancing at uh, ice series, Dubphobia. Oh, yeah. 
I think we were all doing it at that point. You need to do that for science. Lol. Thanks, vampire. I don't know if Mrs. Squirrel's listening or not, but I'm going to need a coffee soon. My energy levels are like... <laughs> the weekend is catching up on me. I tell you what, I just didn't sleep well at all in that bed. It was awful. I was waking up like every hour. Um, you should get an achievement for driving the whole way in reverse. Yeah, they should do that as a Steam achievement. No external cameras, mirrors only. <sighs> Dude, that's harsh. Beaker, I don't even know if that'd be possible. I think we're going straight on. Uh, Dr. D, thank you for 26. Just sticking your head out of a mirror counts as an external view camera. Uh, technically it doesn't, because if you're taking the same restrictions as scanning a truck driving sim, then you're perfectly allowed to do that, but you're not allowed to do that. Well, I say you're not allowed. In scanning a truck driving sim, you get extra points if you don't use that external camera. Well, actually, I think in scanning a truck driving sim, it, the way it works is it says, like, there's a thousand possible points, and then if you hit a cone or something, you lose points. If you use external camera, you lose points. I think it kind of d deducts it rather than adds it. No, what you do is you get one of those super widescreen monitors. That would make it a lot easier. Ma, uh, 877, one second. It's been a while, glad to be uh, able to watch for a bit. I'm fearful in a few months I'll have more time to watch. Uh, hope you and the family are well. I gave up uh, I gave up my tickets to Flight to Maximum maybe next year. No problem, Ma. Hope you're well, sir. I don't think we're going to get there before sunset. I think on that lane. Happy Easter Underbird. I like those signs. Uh, yeah, that rock, that monitor has gone back. Stentorian. Jules! Thank you for the bitch, Jules. Unfortunately, you put curly brackets instead of square brackets. You just realised what? That the green cap... Looks like a green sword. Okay. How you doing, Jules?
old gen or next gen Scania. What for me, next gen all the way. Boom! There you go, Jules. <laughs> You're tired. You and me both. Nowhere near enough sleep. Uh, you should have the C Pinho sound mod personalized sounds for most cars and trucks noodles. Uh, I've never heard of it, but does it work with sound fixes or not? Because I like sound fixes. I think there might be a photo opportunity here somewhere. Is it in the Steam Workshop noodles? Hmm. Say cheese. How much is it to run promos? Uh, it's free. You're still working on getting your PPL? Oh, I'm done with that. I did my PPL, did my write rating. Next thing to do is my restricted instrument rating. Uh, Gwenin NL, what I suggest you do, go to uh, my Squirrel Plus on YouTube and watch the stream from two weeks ago where I talk you through everything that's new in uh, 2.4. Otherwise, we'd just be repeating ourselves. Huh? My coffee? Oh, thanks. It's almost like you was listening to me. It's amazing. Can move them a sec. Looks like Lord Doll of the Show is popping in. First of his name. Oh, you bit keen, Doyle. Hang on. Come on, pal. <laughs> Doyle. Doyle. If he's ill, I'm dead. Rip headphone users, Doyle. <laughs> Oh, there's a cable. I've not seen you for a while, have you, pal? How long is it since you've been on? Eh? Oh, he's had a haircut and everything. <laughs> Look at that face. Give Tell me. Everybody what you've been doing, Dial. What have you been doing? You've been he's, gardening. He's been gardening, but he's been eating something. I don't know what it was. What have you been eating? He's looking dapper. You know, you could almost forgive this for being a bow, bow tie, couldn't you? I think Doll should get a bow tie. Can you get, like, clip-on bow ties on, on the collar, though? I think he'd look amazing with a bow tie. He would look really dapper. Proper Lord Doyle. He's been enjoying the sunshine. He actually does, Yoshi. He goes outside and lies in the sunshine. He loves it. And then it gets too hot, so he comes back inside and, like, lies on the kitchen floor and then goes back outside and gets some more sun. And that's the entire day. DJ Kenty, thank you for 21. I don't think a top hat would stay on, Beaker, to be honest. As funny as that would be. Don't give him a bow tie, he'll be laughed out the dog pub. <laughs> okay. needs a monocle yeah I, I, can, I, I think it would be easy to put a monocle on a dog wouldn't it are oh, these cheesy bites huh? they're cheesy bites these yeah. well, tasty bites, 
test. Yeah, but the cheesy nibbles. He just loves cheese, doesn't he? Yeah, they're my euros. <laughs> no, you don't. No, 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 no. You don't. Trust me, you don't. Thank you, Nesco. Yeah, but Beatnik Squirrel Classy is basically the Dapper Doyle. Right, I think you've had enough now. CSJ, 35 months. Sub the Nut House. Thanks, Lord Squirrel, for the amazing content. Much love to your family. Thanks, CSJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jules says hi, Mrs. Squirrel and Doyle. Hi, Jules. Hey. Right. I hear Whiteland's said a lot of me before as well. Whiteland, I don't know. He tends to be listening at the moment. He's probably playing CSGO or something. <laughs> no, in Whiteland. What was that? Hi. Rainbow Siege, so he's probably seen, playing Siege, yeah. Right, uh, I'm just going to nip for a very quick bio break, guys. I shall be right back.